Welcome to the Aftermarket Report with Vegas and Jim. Today's date's June 6th, the 19th of 2019. Today we're just going to talk about one one ticker here, and Miss Vegas is out right now, so she'll be back with us tomorrow. And we'll start off with a great runner today, MLNT. As everybody almost knows, it was a good runner today. It had great news today, and this is the website. Uh, Malinta Therapeutics. Well, Malinta had some good news today. We'll pull it up. FDA accepts NDAs, accepts NDAs for Bexdella. So that's what made this stock run today. And the shorts had a very difficult time in it. And also, it was a low float of about 10 million. So she had a very good momentum today. Today, very momentous. And we're going to look at the year's chart first. It's going to be probably a little bit messy. As you can tell, I was really in and out of this a lot today with all them blue lines right there. Had a year high of 42.68, and just last week it was down at 162. So when you get in these bottom plays, they're great to be in. So we're going to pull up the 20-day right now and have a look at it. You can tell we had a break of a resistance today at around 317. And it did that first thing pre-market. We had three big white soldiers come into play on an hour, on a 20 minute, I mean on a 20 day, an hour, you know, every hour there was a big green candle. So we're going to pull this now up to the, the daily, let's put it up to the daily one minute. This is how it looks. It was down at 190 yesterday, kind of flat all day, and then here pre-market it started running up real good off that news. It had a high of around 464, and I didn't jump in it this morning, but I waited for the pullback. And I found a su first support right here at this consolidated area where it kept touching down. So that's where my first support was at 380. Now as you open up the calendar, open up the chart here, you see it touched back right back down to that 380. And then we had a nice little breakout. And she ran all the way up to about 5, oh heck, she ran all the way almost up to 579. And then pulled back to support level. And that support level was found right here from where this, on this one minute daily where we had this breakup of these candles right here. And where it had that second candle breakout and it pulled right back to that support level. Well, throughout the day, it started creating an ascending triangle. This is the ascending triangle right here. Let me redo this here so we can see a better view of it. Right there, which you can see the, the ascending triangle. You got a, a resistance line up here on top. And I called this out in the room here at 493. I said if this thing breaks here past 493, it'd be a good good entry to get in it and run it up to at least this 579 area. Well, she ran up there real fast. It didn't take but 20 minutes, and then she went ahead and went up higher and then started to pull back a little bit. Pulled back to that previous high we had right here at 567, 579. You see where it, it kind of hit right here in this channel is right where it pulled back after that breakout. So we're going to look at it a little bit more. And then we started to trend on the way up. So I drew this trend line to more or less get a balance of, of where this stock was going to be for the rest of the day off these two support levels right here and kept falling it all the way up. Also I have my 200 EMA down here and I also have my 34 right here which I've started using here in the past couple of months. Well once we broke out of that channel it pulled back and hit that 34 and I scalped this probably eight or nine times today and just beautiful. I mean sometimes I short change myself but I always caught the knife. And that's why I like getting in and out of these trades. Because I know, you know, you just can't can't trust them going up. But also the share rotation rotated more than six times today. Probably more than that. By this time, we've already re rotated about three times. So when she pulled back to that, that 34 again, it was another time to go ahead and get in this trade. And I kept following it up and using that trend line as a resistance level. You can see bouncing off that and then she broke out of it and she pulled back and she hit that 34 again run up hit that trend line pulled back and hit that 34 again run up 
then broke past that resistance line here at 682 and I probably got out right there pulled back and hit that 34 again and so by this time of the day I get more relaxed and I just kind of say okay you know whatever happens happens well we've had a couple not had one big knife right here that kind of caught my attention then we had another one right here that caught my attention so I kind of laid low a little bit and then we had another knife and I jumped right in here it's right around 617 area took it all the way up run it up to that resistance line that we almost hit right here which was at 709 then she pulled back and hit that 34 again bounced up 34 again bounced up and broke that resistance kept following that trend line see it would pull back pull back and hit that 34 and it would bounce up and hit that trend line and this did this almost three times I was counting on this third time to do it again but it went ahead and settled there at that resistance line that come off this candle right here and that was right around 722 it actually hit a 727 high and then she pulled back again to that 34 so I'm always using this 34 as my first support well as the day goes on we started hitting the 200 and when we started hitting that 200 well, let me go pull this. Yeah, let me pull this back a little bit more here. So when we started hitting that 200, I used that 34 as a resistance line. Pull back, hit that 200 again, use that 34 as a resistance line. And then right at the end of the day, I saw a descending triangle forming down here off the 200. And I said, okay, we're getting at the end of the day and we're going to have some chickens that or maybe some people are going to try to short this if they can if they if their broker allows them to to bring it on down and that's what happened I didn't trade it I'm not in it right now or net, nor did I trade off this knife but I trade off traded off every one of these knives you see right here today because I was patient I got in and out of the trades and I let them come back to me and they bounce right back up so this is basically I just wanted to talk about MLNT I'm still very bullish on it now I'm going to give you what I think might be supports and resistances for for tomorrow. And we're going to get rid of this here. We're going to get rid of... I want to check to see where we are after hours. Right now we're at 737. We run up and hit that 200 EMA. You notice the 34 has dropped below it, so that's a little sign of weakness. And I'll probably rotate using them back and forth. But if they squeeze up and that 34 crosses that 200 tomorrow... It'll be bullish for another run. But we're going to go ahead and pull this up to the 20 day now, or maybe the 10 day. And I can't get nothing out of that. So we'll pull this up to the one day, five minute. And I'm going to start drawing some support and resistance lines in this chart. I'm going to make a low support right down here where we had this high of right around 544. I'll turn that into a red line. 544 maybe make it a little bit fatter that'll be probably your first support your second one's going to be right here at 614 is going to be your probably your your very first if it don't pull back it'll be a resistance so I'm going to turn that red and then I'm going to pull this up to a daily one minute or three minute can't see much with all that gibberish I got in there Remove that drawing. I'll remove that drawing. Now I'll remove this one here. So we got a resistance, we got a break, and that's going to be the 727. And I'm going to adjust that to about 723. That's where we're going to have our resistance at for tomorrow if she decides to run up. Now she pulls back. We're going to call this first little support level at 617 a pivot point. And your first support is going to be right down here in this channel of 523 and 543. So I'm going to darken that up in blue. And we'll remember that support channel. 
bring it right about to there. So that's going to be your 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 probably your your second support. Your first one's going to be right here at 578. So I'm going to make that a red line. Then I'm going to go over this with you. And we're going to have a low support probably right down here where this ascending triangle hit. And that was at 493. So I'll turn that into a red line. That'll be your probably your third support, maybe your last one. If it goes below that, then we have another support here at 428. And I don't want to see it go no lower than this 380. So this is how it's going to come out. They're going to come in here tomorrow, and this thing's going to probably sell off. And when it sells off, I'm thinking it might go to probably this ascending channel right here of 493. If not, it will stop here at this pivot point area or your your second support here at um, 523 and 543. Your first support is going to be right here in this channel of 567 and 5, yeah, 567. And we're going to call this here area pivot point right here at 577 or 5, let me see what that is. I could barely see these lines on here play around with it so much today 617 so we're going to start at the beginning again I don't want it to go no lower than 380 that's going to be a killer knife if it does hit that dead cat bounce your third support is going to be here at 493 your pivot your second support is going to be here at 523 to 543 then your very first support is going to be at this 579 level now, you're going to have a pivot point area of 617, and then you're going to have to start your resistance count. We have to break this 723. And just tell you, it was a beautiful trade today. It was easy to follow and easy to play. And you can tell, even from this trend line right here, where that sending, bottom sending line triangle, you could almost run it straight up here, up all the way up all day long. Then she started getting weak and pulled back at 34, started to pull back, and then finally ended up crossing over the 200. So this is MLNT. I hope everybody had a good day today. I also want to remind everybody that follows Vegas and I to come to our website, sign up to our Twitter page right here, follow, hit the follow button, also subscribe to that YouTube channel and ring that bell because we also put updates in our in our Twitter in our uh, Twitter page and also you can follow us on stock twits we have our stock twits little icons right here you can hit one of them and follow us on that too so this is the aftermarket report today's dates June 19th 2019 and today's big ticker was M L N T and I love stocks, and so does Vegas.